This video help is going to cover the Billing tab on the Bookings and Billing screen. So let's get started. The Billing tab provides information for the individual client in a history format of all the billing items that are being uh, provided to the client as a sale item. For example, uh, if you have a series of items that were purchased in the same general time period, you'll see that those were done in, uh, in this order. The uh, area that is used right here is actually the feeder for the invoice when you print the long invoice. Basically what this does is act as a historical uh, record of all the items that were purchased from your company. And what you would do is you would set up the invoice to collect these by a date. For example, if this is a single item that was purchased outside of this date, this would be its own invoice. If these were all uh, already purchased and also invoiced, then you would want to take that one item and present that on the invoice. And that will be shown when we actually talk about doing the invoice itself, and uh, that information will be covered. Uh, the information that's actually in the booking, of course, is the date of the transaction as far as the actual uh, information that's feeding the invoice. The informa information is the type of item that you're, the person is purchasing, and this comes from the equipment screen, which is up on this icon button. Uh, the cost of the item is actually displayed within the, uh, the actual data that comes down here. If you look at the end of this, you'll see it's $210, $12, or whatever the price would be. This is set in the equipment record, and it's just defaulted here, and all you would do is take that information and put it in the next uh, line over. Uh, the next thing is the quantity. This says quantity or days. If this is going to be a purchase, it would be quantity. If you're going to rent the item, then it would be the number of days and the charge for the daily rate, which is also found in the equipment record. The tax on this particular item, there's multiple tax rates that are entered in here. Actually, those are sample. If you want to change it, use what we discussed in the main menu features uh, movie where you can change scrollers by clicking on the underlying title for a row. And the same thing goes on the notes. The taxes are automatically calculated based on the quantity, the uh, chargeable amount, and that provides the tax. Then the line total would be the tax and the amount uh, added together, and they're calculated for you to be the total. And then the summary of that is put up on this area up here. Now, the way that this works up at the top, this is a running total in the orange fields. This is the most that the client has purchased, so all these added together are this. This is the sum paid and shows that the total was paid and the balance is zero. If any partial amount is paid, then this amount up here would be the partial amount and the balance that's owed would be in this area. And this is based on the next tab we're going to be talking about after this video, which is the payment tab. Uh, the the video that you're watching was clicked on by here on this tab, and the next one will be in the payment screen. Uh, the ID and name for the person tells you who this actual record is for. You would want to come to this record if you're going to go to any of the portal records that are shown here. If you click on this, it'll show you the transaction individually for that particular portal record and the summary of the total of all the items for this client that were purchased as we just showed you. Now you can use the find mode to find individual records or groups of records by the client. If you want to print a record, you would use the listing, which is the billing listing. If you want to have the report for the billing, you would print the report uh, billing or view both through these icons. You can go next and previous to see these individual records. You can also, if you're on the server, if you edit anything in here, you need to submit those records for the server or the cloud. Uh, you can change these records in here like you showed in the other screen for the uh, status and the drop downs. They're all in the same screen. These can be used when you're using the find mode to pick from the lists. Uh, if you have any questions or need more assistance, you can always uh, get in touch with me. And the last thing I want to point out is that if you do do a find in this area, uh, what it does, it has a lesser set of records. When you come out of a, a view where you're actually on the list view and you've looked at a, sh a smaller set of data, you always want to click the show all records in this screen or in the list view to bring all the records back into selection 
or the next time you return there, you will see a less than full set of records. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. Thank you.